It's day three, y'all. We have made it. I know I'm making this video really late. And I told you guys I would make the video late. I have work today. And I also have work tomorrow. And tomorrow, I don't know if I... I'm going to still try to make a video for y'all. But tomorrow, I have an overnight type of job. So that means I'm going to be gone. I'm not even going to be home. I'm not going to be in my domain. Bed, bed back here. Whatever. Yeah, the bed back here is a little d dirty. Don't worry about that. Got my dirty shoes in the ground. Don't worry about that. But the room's still kind of clean. Anyway. I'm still doing good. Dirty. I mean, I said, I was about to say 30. Third day. Still strong. Still. Still strong. We have not relapsed. We're still holding on strong. I hope you guys haven't relapsed either. I do not want to see anybody who is watching these fail. I hope you guys hold on strong because there are benefits to it. Like I told you, you might not realize the benefits, but I'm about to actually talk about the zero through 60 day benefits that I'm looking at right here. Cause I can't come up with, I can't tell you them off the top of my head, but I have experienced some of them before. And if, and you also will too. I hope you have not relapsed, like I said. If you have, you can still go again, but bro. You have to actually be willing to resist. Because like I keep saying, if you keep going back to your hand, to playing with your hand, to playing with your little wee-wee, you will pay to. And nobody really want to be called that, bro. If you really want some puss, man, go. Why am I so blurry? This, this is what I don't like about my camera. But it's gonna, it's gonna focus in. Anyway, I'm blurry as fuck. Still try to listen to me. Don't give a fuck about the quality right now. Still try to listen to me. I'ma still try to fix it while I'm talking to you. But anyway. <clears throat> If you really want some coochie guys, go talk to women. And then you probably be like, I'm scared. I I feel like I'm bad at talking to women and uh, all this and that. Like, I don't have the confidence. I don't have the ball, like, et cetera. The list goes on. If you have that social anxiety where you can't even approach a girl and stuff like that, I get it. I really do. I I was the same way. I still kind of am. Well, I'm not actually afraid to approach women now. And the crazy part is, is because I've talked to way too many women in my life. And I mean, way too many. And not on no, like, I want to date them or get with them type stuff. It's just, I just talk to way, way too many. Nowadays, this might not help you get over social, uh, and I also have to meet a lot of women in my job, too. My job, I meet a lot of people, like a lot of guys and girls, and I have to actually talk to them about the job and shit. It's my job, so it's easier for me. So I understand, like, I'm not trying to brag about it. People would think, well, it's easy for you because that's your job and stuff. You have to actually talk to people. But for me, it might be different. Some of y'all might be in school. Some of y'all might not be in school. But you still have to actually find ways of getting into talking to people. And you don't even have to talk to a girl on no flirty type stuff or whatever. But you, if you can at least start a conversation with a girl, you don't even got to actually start a conversation. But if you can talk to them about anything or anything that's in the air or anything that's around, anything like that, the girl might actually conversate with you back and y'all can literally talk for a few minutes and then it can go back quiet which it might be awkward because nobody really likes awkward silence but hey it just be like that sometimes you can also let her know if you don't want it to seem awkward like the conversation just died out of nowhere if you can also let her know that hey i just got a quick question uh 
blah, 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 blah. Like, say whatever you wanted to say or whatever the fuck. Just to make conversation to get out of that little comfort zone of being shy to talk to girls. And... Yes, talk about that. But say you also have to go, like, at the beginning of that. Hey, I got a quick question. I. Hey, I got a quick question for you. Um... Hey, I got a quick question. I like. Hey, I got a quick question. Is also saying that you are gonna say something real quick because she might think that you're in a hurry to do something or whatever the fuck, blah blah blah, blah and then you're gonna go about your business. She might actually respond at that point in time. Or if you say that you have to be somewhere, but I have to, I've had to ask you something or something, blah blah blah, blah she might listen to you real quick, blah blah blah, blah. Because if you just approach her on some shit, like you're gonna stay there. Some girls really don't like that half of the time. Some girls might. Some girls don't. It all depends on the woman. Women are complicated as fuck. You already know that. Anyway, yeah, you can leave with that. Say whatever you had to say. It don't have to be on flirty shit, like I said. But if you, hey, you want to be ballsy, hey, go for it. You might get rejected. Don't literally go into a state of depression. Don't feel bad for yourself. Don't get all fucking cry baby-ish because you got rejected. People get rejected every single day. Even the most popular people, people you look up to get rejected all the time, bro. I've gotten rejected rejected plenty of times in my life. At this point, I can get rejected and I'll be like, damn. Oh, I'll make a joke out of it half of the time. For real, for real. I'm not able to cap, but at the same time, as much as I get rejected, I also pull nowadays because the more and more you get rejected, the more and more you learn from the shit and you learn what to do and not to do and stuff like that. But at the moment, not even but to lie to you guys and now people might be cap thinking I'm capping. I have no reason to lie to you guys. What the fuck do I have to lie on camera for? But anyway... I literally have plenty of women in my phone, but at the moment I am working on a stage and I'm working on myself so much right now that I'm working on myself. Plus I'm working on building my socials up and stuff like that. My own little type of empire, my business type shit and trying to get money. I literally have zero time for women. I'm literally not even talking to girls. And if I do talk to you, if you're a girl and I do happen to talk to you, say that, just know that you are lucky. Because literally, in a matter of seconds, I will stop talking to you. I was just talking to one of my other friends the other day. That's a girl, one of my homegirls. And she... She didn't believe she wasn't. She didn't believe that I what you call it. When I told her that I would come back and start talking to her again and stuff like how I was at first when we first met, it's that's because I've also ghosted her and it's not. I don't intentionally ghost like right now. Like I told you, I'm literally in a state where I'm trying to find myself but also work on myself really like hard to the point where I don't even have time for women in my own state and some people will say that's good because I'm trying to actually build something for myself which is great it is great but at the same time I know a lot of guys work, uh, care about girls me I cared about girls and I mean hard I'd be simping not about the cat I used to simp you sent for girls. I used I I would chase the fuck out of girls. I would chase girls hard and shit. But at the moment in time, I'm not chasing. I'm not simping. I just don't give a f. I really don't. But it's not because I'm not saying I don't like no girls or don't care about no girls or don't care about nobody in general or nothing. It's just right now what I told you I'm doing. I'm literally doing, and I have nothing else in my line of sight. No women. No nothing. But that, and that's all I'm focused on. I keep doing that. I keep grinding. I keep that. It's my mindset. That's constantly my mindset at the moment. Yeah, I, I told I told people though, 
I'm going to come back to where I'm starting to hang, hang out with girls, talk to girls and shit again, and just, hey, go a little crazy, you know, I'm, I gotta go crazy sometimes, I'm a guy, it's in my nature, plus, hey, y'all haven't seen it, but when I'm actually really, and I mean really, really trying, hey, I think I'm a smooth motherfucker, no cap. I'm pretty smooth with my words, nine ball cap. You can ask a lot of the girls I used to talk to when I'm really, really trying. I'm pretty smooth. I'm pretty smooth with them. No god, I'm I'm not gonna cap. I'm pretty smooth, but hey, like right now I'm in retirement. I'm not. <laughs> I ain't doing nothing. But I'm gonna come back out of retirement at some point in time. But I just don't know when right now. I'm like I said. I'm trying to find myself. Maybe when I find myself, I'll probably come back out of retirement. I might get a little wild. Y'all might see some stuff. You might not see some stuff. It all depends if I won't be public with it. But I'm going to just tell y'all real quick the zero to 60 day benefits. I've been talking about a lot of other BS <laughs> that, hey, I've just been giving y'all the update of day three for real, for real, and how... It's going to be for me in the future, maybe. You never know. But I'm not going to go back. Because if I fall back now, I'm going to have to restart from day one. Also, it's going to put me back into the state that y'all saw me in on day one. Or the, day, or the video I made way before day one. Because you can clearly see my energy right now. I'm tired as fuck, by the way. I mean, it's late as hell right now. I'm tired. But you can still see my energy. I have hella good energy right now. And it's only day three. Three, guys. So, I'm not making this shit up. But, literally, it says zero to 60 days. Social anxiety. Gone. Social anxiety. Gone. Like I said, if you want to talk to girls... Zero from zero to sixty days, and we're only on day three. You're going to get rid of your social anxiety. You might still have a teensy bit, but you're going to be out there socializing with people more and more all the time now. You're also gonna have better eye contact. Like I'm having eye contact with a camera. I literally, but no, I literally have great eye contact nowadays. I practice it. My teacher used to get on me about that shit back in my high school days, bro. My social anxiety plus eye contact was terrible. I couldn't even look that man in the eye. He would he would be so intimidating. He'd be like, like dead ass staring me down, like into my soul type shit. I'd be like, holy fuck, bro. I could I would always be looking down, like just just some beta shit. That's what they that's what people call it, bro. I'm sorry I'm using the word like that, but that's what people call it. I kind of agree with some shit like that. I really do. Like, if you want to be a better man, you want to be the best version of yourself, you have to work on these things. And girls like a confident man. I sure himself, man. They like a man who is in his most dominant form, who can be strong enough to deal with her dominant slash feminine form, who can lead her and put her in her place type shit and tell her, like, like, tell her no to just give her technically a road map she can follow to to conjoin both of y'all lives type shit to where she can she has her life together type shit you have your y'all probably not gonna have your life together but ha she has her life and you have her, your life and they combined and y'all can go down that journey together where y'all improve each other, up each other and everything even more than how you already came. Just don't get married, though. You get married, bro, just, just don't even consider getting married, though, if y'all ever go that far. Why? Marriage is fucked. Marriage is fucked. I'm not going to tell I'm not going to say it no more. Marriage is fucked. But I keep making these videos long as shit. But anyway, urges. Gone. <laughs> From zero to 60 days. I'm not going to say they're probably going to be completely gone. But hey. You'll be able to resist these urges so much. I mean so good. 
to the point where you won't even think about fapping anymore. You won't be thinking about fapping anymore because you'll be so focused on whatever you're focused on, whatever you're doing in the doing to fill the void of beating to some fake shit constantly. Don't do it. Whatever you are doing that is helping you not do it and you're going out and doing other stuff or whatever the fuck that whatever the fuck that's more productive than just sitting here for hours beating to fake shit. That's what you're going to be doing. You're probably going to be doing it better because you're not doing that. If you're not sitting, if you're sitting here for hours, like if you're not sitting here for hours beaten to some fake shit, you have all that much time put back into your life where you can go and do some productive shit. You can go make some money. You can better yourself. You can just become all around better or you can just have more time to go do some other fun shit with friends or something like that, bro. Do you not realize that? Niggas literally be looking at this shit for hours. Hours. But also, depression. Gone. If you felt depressed and shit every single time you would do it, like every time you do it, you feel happy for those first like two, five seconds, then you'd be like, damn. I'm fucking miserable, man. I don't have a girl. I'm single. I keep beating off to these fucking fake ass women. I wish I was getting some puss. I wish I was getting some cooch. But I'm not. I'm sitting here, my fat ass, sitting in this chair, beating off to some fake shit and not getting nothing. I'm going to be lonely for the rest of my life type shit. Hey, like I said, I ain't going to sugarcoat nothing. If you hate me, you hate me. If you like me, you like me. I'm just being real. Cause I'm the realist. Anyway, constant transitional flatline. If you don't know what flatline is, there's gonna be a point in time in the zero to sixty days where you're gonna be going through some ups and downs. Now, ups and downs can be literally anything, but you're gonna feel like not wanting to do a lot of shit. Like you're gonna feel lazy as fuck and not wanting to do a lot of shit, and you might feel a little down in the slumps and then there's all the, there's gonna be other days where you know positive energy up uppity type shit blah 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 it's gonna be back and forth a lot but that's gonna go away too at some point you don't gotta worry about that for too long periods of increased confidence you already know what confidence is but increased confidence like i said you might go a little while. You might try hit on some women, or you might get bold with some dudes and some shit. You, your confidence is going through the roof. You gonna feel so smooth, bro. You might actually go do something. You might actually win some shit, bro. You might talk your way into some money for real, for real. Increase confidence, bro. You can do a lot of shit. You might do something that you've been holding off on for a minute. I don't know, but hey, increased confidence. Yeah. You can go crazy with that. And it says also increased energy. You can see it right here. It's only day three. I'm not actually acting more positive as I go up in these videos. I'm not pretending. This is literally me, how I feel right now as I'm talking to y'all. Like, dead ass. It's only day three. I'm decently positive right now. I'm feeling very good. And it's only day three. Have not touched my meat. Not once. Unless I use the bathroom, of course. And taking a shower, of course. Other than that, haven't touched that shit. Have not touched it. Done anything else possible to not touch it. No, I, well, I've, I've, I've been on NoFap before plenty of times, so... I I know what the fuck to do, blah, 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 blah. But for other people, like y'all, the urges might be strong as shit. Do anything else to not touch it. Go be a punching bag. I will go, I'm going to keep saying that. That's going to be my line. This video is about to be nine minutes. Let me say, let me hurry up and get through these. More women, uh, more looks from women. 
I want to go into that on the next one. I want to go into that some more on the next one. More driven. That means you're more action based, more getting out there. You're more productive and finding your feet. You're more productive. You're finding your purpose. You're fine. You're finally getting back up on your feet. Wanting to do something with your life and not be a fucking bum living in your mom's basement and wanting to better yourself for the better for yourself, not for women, for yourself. But more looks from women and shit, I'm going to get into on the next one. I love you guys. We holding strong up in day three. Hey, if you made it to day three without doing Without beating your meat to some fake shit. Hey, comment that you have made it to day three with me. And you're also joining me on the journey to day four. I don't know if I'll be able to get a video to y'all for day four. But I'm going to try. I love y'all. I'm out.